Hello, it's Leanne from the Dark Horse Studio. We're back again. And today I want to talk to you about transfers. Iron Orchid Design transfers are the transfers we carry. We carry many, we actually carry every single transfer that they have. So this particular one just launched just before Christmas. It's called Painterly Florals. And even those of you that are familiar with the transfers uh, may not have seen this brand new format that we have. It's absolutely incredible. So this is one transfer. You know the way that we're still getting rid of ours in the tubes a little bit. Some people like that, some people like the other. But let me show you how this works. The tubes used to have one big transfer, about two feet by three feet. And you could always cut it up and make whatever you wanted with it. But sometimes when you have it presented as one solid, it was hard to let your imagination go. So this is just one book. So there's one sheet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets in this one transfer pad. And you can see, just this is just one example. You can layer on top, you can put a stem, you can put the leaves behind and front, you can mix and match any way you like. So we've got a really, really, special thing happening today. Norm, the cameraman, who's also the director of logistics for Dark Horse Studio, who also happens to be my husband, is going to do his very first transfer today. Yes, ladies, he's all mine. You can't have him, but you can watch him. So what we're going to do is I have got these sap buckets from the Port Perry Vintage Market. Port Perry Vintage Market is in Port Perry uh, on 1894 Scugog Street in the Food Basics Plaza. And one of the other vendors is sending, selling these sap buckets for $12 each. So I grabbed the sap bucket, washed it up quickly, put a coat of fusion paint on it. In this case, I put on Laurentian and Norm is going to hand the camera over to me, folks, and you are going to see Norm put a transfer on. Hello, Norm. Hi, everybody. This is a little strange for me to be doing on the side of the camera, but we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. So I have my teacher behind the camera. So when I screw up, she will be able to correct me. So well, the first thing I've been told to do is to take the transfer, in this case, it's been cut out of a, a sheet, just so that we're not trying to put it on the whole um, sap bucket at one time. So um, just place it where you want it to be. But of course, the first thing you should do is peel the backing off it or you'll never get anywhere with it. So we're <laughs> going to do that. He's passed the first test. So you don't take the backing off until you know where it's going because wherever you place it down, that's where it's gonna wanna stick. Then we wanna put uh, just two or three pieces of tape on it uh, just so it's not moving when we uh, use our stick to um, press out the, the actual picture. We'll just make sure you don't put your tape where you want to uh, be pressing on it. And because we're using a, a cylinder shape here, I've just got a couple of sticks I'm putting beside it to hold it in place. And of course, with the uh, transfers comes this handy dandy little plastic stick, like a tongue depressor. And we're gonna use that to press out the uh, image here onto this uh, can, the sap can here. So here we go. As you're doing it, you'll see that the picture, you'll be able to tell the, the darkness of your image 
leaves, you know that it's been uh, attached then to whatever you're trying to put the uh, put the image onto. So we're going to work away at this. Use a, a little bit of workout, a little bit of upper arm strength. So I tell you, ladies, I swear he has never done a transfer before today. But he obviously listens more than I think he does because he knows what he's talking about there. And those of you that have done transfers before, when you see that little discoloration, we actually call that, it's our technical term, we call it riding the bubble. Because once you get that bubble air pocket in there and it starts showing you where you've taken the stuff off, it just gets easier and easier. So unlike a stencil, when we're stenciling with paint, we always say, don't you dare peek, don't you dare peek, because you can just move the stencil that micromillimeter and throw everything off. The beauty with transfers is you can peek. So Norm, do you want to peek now? In a minute. You can tell who's the patient one in this marriage and who isn't. Well, first of all, he stayed with me, so he's obviously patient. Okay, we'll take a little sneak peek here, but we're pretty confident that it's attaching itself. So that's a perfect example. Do you see what oh, he's missed a spot? Do you see what he's left on the page versus what he's left on there? So he knows he can just go back. You would never do that with a stencil, but this is just so forgiving. There it is. Okay, we're gonna finish it off and then we'll do a a total peak. Make sure that uh, we've got everything on the uh, on the metal that we wanted to put on it. This is a project I call instant gratification. We don't, certainly not, not like watching paint dry. Okay, we're just about finished. Actually, the third transfer that we put onto this sap bucket. Time for the reveal to make sure that we got everything transferred onto the bucket that was supposed to get onto the bucket. We'll just take it off slowly. Whoops, we did actually have one spot right there. And of course, I'm working with a seam on the bucket too, so I don't know why I get the uh, difficult ones. But. That was a test, you passed. Okay, so there How it is. How stunning is that? So, one, two, three. Beautiful. And you can cram that in as much as you want or as little as you want. So, I just cut out a little piece of sunflower, and I thought it'd just be fun to add that sunflower. Kind of quirky. Yep, that's yeah. good. Okay, same thing again. Oh, but just be careful putting the tape on a transfer that hasn't been sealed. Okay. Transfers do need to be sealed afterwards, okay? They could either be tough coat. Well, I'm gonna talk about fusion products because that's what I do. So in the fusion line, it can be covered in tough coat. It can be covered in any of our waxes or it can be covered in our stain and finishing oils. You can certainly use other people's products to cover it. Just be very careful. Some brand of paint and finishing products are having very adverse effects with the IOD transfers. They're cracking and they're peeling. I can't comment about them. I can only tell you that all of the top coats with Fusion Mineral Paint are fine and how do I know? Because I've used every single one of them on a transfer, except for the gel stain, which, well, we won't go there, but anyways. <laughs> and folks, if I can do this, gee, I sound like a politician, and folks, <laughs> uh, if I can do this, anybody can do this, because this, uh, this is not how I was brought up. <laughs> We'll 
get this sap bucket finished because next week it's supposed to be very mild and be the opportunity for it to go on a nice big maple tree and be the most <laughs> colorful sap bucket around. The coyotes are gonna love it. Just kidding, this one probably won't make it outside. I think we'll be enjoying it. But uh, it's just to show you, there's your imagination is your only limit. I just walk around and think of all the things, you know, everybody thinks, oh yeah, put, put the transfers on furniture. And absolutely, go for it. But you can put it on canvas, put it on walls, put it on sop buckets. I uh, like to just walk around the Port Perry Vintage Market and see things in everybody else's booth, what I can work with. As I joke around, I go in to pick up my paycheck and then I just spend it. And of course, when we're finished this, uh, when we peel off the plastic here and hopefully leave the actual image on the sap bucket, we just want to do a slight rub over the image just to make sure it's totally attached to the metal that it should be anyway but we'll just give it a slight rub sounds like a pro already burnishing the transfer folks. Burnishing just doing the transfer. what i'm told this time yes i should keep the video on all the time <laughs> almost done Never trust a person with a tidy workshop. That's what I say. Or a tidy apron. Don't have to worry about that here. Okay, time for the great reveal to see whether this worked despite the operator. I gotta say, I like being behind the camera. Let's give this a check. Feel it slowly to make sure that we're all attached. Oops, one little spot. There you go. Isn't that, can you just turn it around, please? How stunning is that? Beautiful, well done, Norm. Well, well done. should attract You're the bees. You're hired. So remember, do you want to just show them how you would burnish it with your hand? Perfect. And then we would put a wax or a tough coat on this. And that's all there is to it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care.